Learning Without Limits introduces our community to uh, a number of initiatives that we believe and that our board believes best position us to move forward. So as we think about education for future generations of kids, we look back briefly to understand where we've come from and what we, what we can learn from what we have done so well for so many years. But we also look forward and that's where we spend the majority of our time. As our mission statement reads, preparing students to be effective servants of Christ in contemporary society. To see yourself as part of a team or part of a kingdom or um, part of a people group that is serving in our contemporary society is much healthier than I'm an individual that has an individual spiritual life and it doesn't matter where I fit in. We're trying to help students, I think, see that they're part of um, part of the kingdom. Mrs. Knoll is a, one of my favorite teachers and she pushed me to look deeper into like faith in all the areas of life and it's not just Christianity as a separate part of who you are, it's part of everything you are. Teachers in this generation, in the 21st century, have to have a savviness, a knowledge of how to utilize the tools that have affected the culture of children that they're teaching. Various educational models that are best in for the 21st century learner. Um, educational livery, instructional practices, those are all things that our teachers are asking for support in. And um, that's what we want to do. And we want to keep them up with that so that they can be the very best, most effective educators for our kids. When I think about equipping our faculty to be able to put into practice or put into action what we've articulated through Learning Without Limits, um, I think about a few things. First of all, we need to give them the tools for their toolbox. We need to um, give them good, solid, not just professional development in terms of training, but also support so that we can sustain the practices. And we also need to provide them with the physical environment so that they can um, be able to implement um, some of the things that we're talking about. It's important to look for sources of revenue other than tuition so that we can continue to strengthen and expand our programs, create excellent learning environments for our kids, and not have to transfer the costs associated with those programs and those practices to our tuition paying parents. We want to keep and do all we can to keep Christian education at Grand Rapids Christian Schools affordable to as many people as possible to keep it accessible to as many people as possible so that our communities and our classrooms can reflect all of God's kingdom. We want to make students effective servants of Christ in a contemporary society. And right now I feel like we fall short of that contemporary society piece. I don't feel like the way we do things in our classrooms, the way we form community in our hallways, lives up to what we say we want to do. I think it's really different and hard for students to come to the classrooms that they have today because they go home at night and the technology that they have is usually way beyond what they have during the school day. I think that these rooms are okay for your kids, but I don't think they're the best. And Grand Rapids Christian has always prided itself on doing what's best for our students. And so as new things emerge in, in learning, in technology, we want to be part of that with our kids. Knowing that there's going to be this new technological core to the school that's going to be able to help the students in their educational process when technology has become such an important part of the world today. I just feel that the students as they come here are going to be in better hands than say I was when I was leaving. It's an exciting vision and it's an exciting opportunity that we've been provided. And I'm thankful to God and I'm thankful to our community and I'm thankful to our faculty that 
we all together walk forward with positive momentum and with confidence that this Christian education that we, that we call Grand Rapids Christian Schools is positioned to continue for years to come.